Welcome Sagittarius, we are going to look at what it is that you need guidance with at this time using the divine directions and angels and ancestors oracle cards and the light seers tarot. Okay, let's have a look here Sagittarius. If these messages resonate for you Sagittarius, please subscribe and share this video or this channel because it's all about helping other people okay and the world really needs that right now so we can do that together okay so let's have a look three cards for Sagittarius please one two more two three there we go easy as that okay so we have friends spend more time with your friends Share your thoughts with someone who understands you. Very nice. And protection. You are not alone. You are being looked after by your spirit guides and your angels. Beautiful. So you've got a bit of a support system going on here. Career. It's time to add extra energy to your career area. Maybe try something new. Okay. Oh, how lovely. Now we've got power tools going on in the background there. Oh, well, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Can't really help what's going on in the neighbourhood. Okay, so first card out for Sagittarius, please. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about friends for Sagittarius, actually. Spend more time with your friends. Share your thoughts with someone who understands you. One card for friends here. Yeah. One card or two cards, actually. Interesting. I feel like doing it a bit differently with you, Sagittarius. There we go. Two cards. Beautiful. Okay. Right. Love this. Okay. So the first card here we have is Drum. Dream and Journey. The first thing that comes to my mind is this is about you walking to the beat of your own drum, Sagittarius. And it's interesting because when don't you? <laughs> um, but, you know, I think um, this is having people around you who support that, though, because not everyone does support that. OK, and that can sometimes weigh a bit heavy. You know, it's OK to, um, you know, I've, well, put it this way. I feel like there's been times in your life where you've gone, I don't even care. I'm doing my thing and whatever. Get over it if you don't like it. But for some reason... Right now, you may just need a little bit more support on that front, okay? Um, so in that regard, I feel like it's about tapping into whatever dream that you do have, okay? And look at how you can walk along that um, journey towards the dream, okay? And when you have people around you, you who you can share your thoughts with who understand you they're going to support and encourage you all right um the other yeah i think we'll just focus on this card right now the other card is tying in there but yes i want to just focus on this one we've got um king of swords one more card for drum for sagittarius please yep okay great okay so first off we have the king of swords here and very interesting because the King of Swords, he knows his um, path. He knows what direction he's going in. He doesn't let anyone hold him back. He doesn't let anyone's um, opinions or thoughts weigh on him. Okay. Um, and he cuts himself free from those um, cords that hold him back. He cuts himself free from the connections that hold him back. That's not to say you need to chuck everyone out of your life. Um, I would just be mindful of who it is that you share your visions with. Okay, you really want to be quite um, discerning as to who it is that you are letting in on your On your ideas 
for your future because you're going to get the people who are like, oh, yeah, you know, such and such tried that and it didn't work for them. And, you know, oh, yeah, yes, you know, I've heard of that before and, and that just doesn't work. Like, you're better to do it this way, you know. Um, the thing is, Sagittarius, that often people will give us advice based on what they want and what's good for them. Not necessarily on what's good for us. You may, for example, want to travel overseas. You may want to... Um, you know, take a job or maybe your career is going to send you um, away from where you live. There are people in your life who aren't going to want you to go because it doesn't serve them, you know, and you want people who hold your best interests at heart to share this with. And maybe this is something that you're deciding on. Okay, so yeah, I feel like this is about you tapping on in to your inner wisdom here and um and i also feel like this is about you stepping out of your comfort zone as well for some of you okay we've got the three of pentacles here as well and um yeah this is about getting people who will work with you rather than against you people who are for you okay who are help going to help you build the dream Okay, because they, you know, this could be um, that, you know, especially if it is in your career, you know, some of you may be in a position that you can hire people um, to come and assist you with building what it is that you want to build. Okay, so that's something that you could potentially look into here. Okay, but definitely as far as your friends go and your circle of influence, okay, make sure that, yeah, these people really, really get you, okay, so be clear on who those people are, and if there's any hint of them not supporting, you know, look, there's a difference between being objectional and realistic, that's okay, you know, you could have a friend who would say, that's amazing, have you considered this what about this? You know, give this some thought um, to, you know, they're still supporting you, but they're just seeing things from an, a different point of view. OK, sometimes it's easier to see things from the outside than what it is on the inside. Right. Um, so that's OK. You know, take that on board. And the thing is, those people, if you, you know, do that and then still decide to go in the direction that you're going in, they're still going to support you. They're not going to go, oh, well, you're stupid because you didn't do this, you know. So, yeah. Um, we also have the stag here, okay. And this is trust and thrive. Um, again, you see here, we've got these three here. And this is reminding me of these three of pentacles here. Getting that support system around you so that you can step into your power and it's not just really about stepping into your power though it's actually doing it in a way that you are so confident that you have no doubt about what direction you're going in and this is it though you I think it is important for you to consider all aspects right because that's what the deer does that's what the stag does right the stag doesn't act impulsively the stag will stand there it will listen it will feel because it uses, you know, those instincts, those animal instincts to see, oh, you know, what way do I need to go? What's going on over here? What's going on over there? And it takes all aspects into account before it makes its next move. As soon as it hears a noise, it's like, what was that? And, and it really focuses, right? So this is the energy that I feel like um, would be a really good thing to take on. So this is where... You know, talking about these friends and, and getting their opinion. What do you think about this? What would you do in this circumstance? And to try and get some ideas from outside of yourself to see the bigger picture, to see things a bit clearer and a bit more objectional, okay? But still hold on to those dreams, okay? So give me two cards for Stag, for Sagittarius. Please tell me more about this for Sag please thank you okay so the first card here is oh the ace of wands yes this is great this is this beginning of this p 
passionate new venture that you're going to go on. And you know, I love that this fire is in her third eye here. So this is really um, using all, not just your five senses, right? But like the stag, using those instincts and using that intuition. Okay, that we're talking about the seven senses here. Not just five, seven. <laughs> Seven. Maybe you've got ten and you didn't even know. Who knows? Um, yeah. So. Yeah. Interesting because I'm just noticing this net around her head here. And this is saying something about not to get caught up in. A, um. 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 Not to get caught up um, in the burden of doing it all yourself. I really do think that delegating um, would be beneficial for you. Okay. And the thing too is Sagittarius that along the road is going to be, there's going to be some hard times, you know, it's going to be rough. Um, so I think it is calling upon your friends during those times, especially to assist you. Okay, um, so don't get caught up in the ego of it is what I want to say. Um, that you have to do it all yourself. And, you know, you you know, because at the beginning, you have that momentum, right? You have that passion. And that's cool. But just remember, there's going to be times along the journey where you need people to hold the space for you. Okay, so the next card here we have is protection. So let's just have a look at this again. You are not alone. You are being looked after by your spirit guides and your angels. You know, the thing with this too is that sometimes th things don't work out for us. Um, so, you know, I think it's really important to remember that if there's something that you're struggling, struggling to achieve um, and it just won't work and it keeps taking a dive and bombs, um, you know, that sometimes the universe is at play here and we may need to look at another direction. So just be aware of that. Okay, just a bit of a side note, I think. So, yeah, but two cards for protection, please, for Sagittarius. So interesting that this reading has gone in another direction because it hasn't with the other signs. And, yeah, rather intriguing, Sagittarius. Thanks for the change up. Okay, so Animal Guardian. Trust your instincts. Yeah, see, this is the one of the other two senses. Two, I can do that. Um, right, so um, the other thing is that you may very well have an animal guide, spirit guide, one that potentially appears to you, or you could even have a look up, um, you know, if you're dreaming about a particular animal, or there's one that you were drawn to that you instinctually feel is your animal guide have a look up what that means you know um i'm sure you'd be able to google that okay and yeah um i really love this because under protection we have two guardians brilliant okay so the other one is fire garden guardian ignite your passions but anyway we'll start with the animal guardian first oh this is so cool Okay, so Animal Guardian. Two cards for Sagittarius for Animal Guardian. Whoop. Love it. Two of cups, by the way. In the Seven of Wands. Two of cups, yep. Working hand in hand with your guides, with your um, guardians, okay, with your friends, okay. Um, really bringing these these um, beings in to assist you even if you know Sagittarius some of you may think that's a load of gobbledygook um, but just try it just you know because I think we've all experienced a synchronicity we've all experienced for example you know thinking about someone and then suddenly you bump into them or they call you or, you know, those sorts of things. There are, you know, other forces working outside of ourselves. It's actually not all about us, right? That would be a little bit maybe self-centered for us to believe that. There is bigger things going on in the, the world or in the universe than just our little space. Okay, 
So, you know, try different things out. The other thing I want to say about this here is there are people around you who will have your back, okay, that will protect you. Um, the Seven of Wands here, I just wonder that if some of you are feeling maybe a little bit attacked by people. Um, and this is, what I love about this is this is here, this light of her intuition. She's not taking that on board. She's not allowing all that to get to her. She's going within and feeling it out. She's going, what is it that I really, really, really want here? And she's kind of turning away from all the sticks being prodded at her, like, you know, and that I feel like could be all the criticisms from other people, like, don't do that, and you can't do that, and you won't succeed, and who do you think you are? And this could even be thoughts in your mind, you know, you're an imposter, that imposter syndrome type thing, right? Um, you know, so yeah, so I really feel like... Um, that this is this coming together of um, drawing on all things supportive to you and your um, vision so that you can begin this journey, which I kind of feel like with these guardians here is actually part of your mission here. And, um, and I think that there's this real calling for you this pull to actually go ahead with this um yeah and so there could be people in your life who are there to sidetrack you you know it happens um so yeah the next card here is fire guardian and i love this because being a fire sign like this is really someone here to support you like it's it just feels like it's more even more because it's the fire guardian, okay? But ignite your passions. Yeah, and I love that because this is sitting alongside the ace of wands here, okay? Just not letting the nine of wands to dampen that that um, passion that is ignited. Okay, so let's have a look here. Keeping an eye on the vision as well, like really holding that down. Make sure everything's written down so you can refer back to it at a later date, especially when times are hard um, and, you know, you're having to walk the rugged terrain along this journey. You'll be able to refer back to what the vision is, what the goal is, what the focus is in order to keep the momentum going. Okay, calling on your friends, calling on your guardians, calling on your guides and your angels, yeah? Yeah. So, yeah, tell me more about Fire Guardian for Sagittarius, please. Oh, I've got the wrong cards, but... Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, Fire Guardian. I've got the Six of Cups. And one more card for Fire Guardian for Sagittarius, please. And the Page of Pentacles. Okay. So, with the Six of Cups here... I feel like this, um, some of you may not know yet what this passion would be. And, and it's sort of like, you know, there's something you want to do, but you're not sure what it is. And I feel like the Six of Cups is saying, go back to when you were young. What did you want to do? What is it that you, you know, really got you going? You know, um, and, and, and kind of tap into that inner child, that playful part of yourself to go, oh, this will be really cool to do. Don't let all the excuses and all the barriers, oh, I can't because I'm too old. Oh, I can't do that now because I haven't got the money. Oh, I can't do that. Just focus on the passion. Okay. Call on your guides, your guardians, your angels to help you because they will organize things. They will orchestrate it so that it is set up for you. If this is part of your mission and what you're meant to do, it will happen. Okay. The thing is you need to be on board with it and everything needs to come into alignment. Okay. So yeah, I think that's a really cool thing for you to sit down and do if you haven't got an idea or you have that inkling of what it is or that thing that I've always wanted to do that, but I never thought it was possible. Honestly, like seriously, now in my 50s, I am finally getting to do what it is I wanted to do. Okay, and that's only just happened in the last 
maybe three months. So I never thought it would happen, you know, and I sort of I actually said to my guides, um, you know, I've always wanted to do this. So if I am meant to do it, if I really am meant to do this as part of my life journey, then show me an easy way of doing it, a way that's affordable and make it happen. A week later, one week later, it may, may have even been within that week actually, I met somebody who um, is working in that field that I wanted to work in and they were looking for people to work in there. They, it was a, a male dominated um, workplace and they wanted to bring a female in and um, they also you know, because the courses that I would have had to have done was like $40,000, four years of work, you know, studying and all that. But um, the um, one of the directors actually does the training for it. And so I go, I at the moment, you know, I'm there as a volunteer until I've done the training. And, you know, it's like, wow, that happened like, just like that. Because I just put it out there, I surrendered it, it to the universe and went, if I meant to, then just do it. Like, you know, and, and now I'm ready, you know. So these things are possible, okay. And with this page of pentacles, this is what this is about. You learning um, what it is that you need to begin maybe this career um, that is there for you, which is something that you've always wanted to do okay and when it happens you know it might happen differently for you but it's an example of how it can happen okay it can happen just like that and before you know it you're living your dream so yeah okay so let's have a look at career now for you Sagittarius it's time to add extra energy to your career area Maybe try something new. Okay, so tell me more about career for Sagittarius, please. One card and it's upside down. I can't see it yet. One more card for career. There it is. Bing, bing, bada boom. Okay, so the first card here is winter. Take care of your needs. Okay, so yeah, this is you gathering, right? Gathering what it is that you need in order to proceed, in order to get through um, the, you know, the, um, the process of either adding this extra energy, you know, you could, um, oh, I don't, I can't think of an example off the top of my head, but there, you know, it could be that you need to do some more training. Um, so getting that training, you know, asking your workplace about that or, you know, it could be that you need to save up for that training. You may want to go into something completely new and it could be that you do need to study. So making sure that you've got enough funds saved up to cover you in the meantime of studying, you know, whatever it is that you need to do to prepare for that. But taking care of your needs so that you can advance yourself. And I do want to add here, Sagittarius, that this is about being happy in your career. It's not about an advancing a career that you're absolutely miserable in. Okay, if there's something that you've always wanted to do, look into that. Put it out there, you know. Put it out there. Ask the question and, and surrender it. Let it go. Right? Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, I feel like for some of you, you may have felt like there was an opportunity that was stolen from you. And um, and it's kind of um, stopped you from proceeding or moving forward with it. You know, it's kind of like, oh, why bother? I'm not going to bother now. Like, it, it hurt. It hurt. Um, and, yeah, for whatever reason, it may have been stolen from you by someone else or your life just may, may have taken another turn and you don't feel like you've fulfilled what it is that you wanted to do because of whatever reason okay maybe because of your circumstances maybe because of where you lived um but yeah I feel like now could be the time for you to look at how that 
can change okay um and and also i want to say about this is look at your fears surrounding that Try to look at the things that are stopping you and see a way around that, okay? Shed a light on those things. The other card we have here is the sun. And wow, this is all about success. This is all about, you know, this real, real happiness. This um, <sighs> under career. Like, come on. This is amazing. You know, so I feel as though... You um, going towards what it is that you really, really want to do, that thing that really ignites that fire within you because the sun is fire, right? That you, you're going to fly. You are absolutely going to fly and you will succeed at it, okay? I think your fears could be getting in the way though, okay? So try not to actually um, be the one who stops themselves okay yeah so okay so the next card already flipped out and it is druid here hold the space okay um and this is you holding the space for yourself to actually achieve what it is you want to achieve this is you holding the space for this wisdom inside of you to come out i feel like the druid for some of you may be someone that you could even call on as a bit of a guide um, to lead the way for you as well okay but hold the space for this career you know if if say you want to go into teaching for example you want to go into teaching but you live a bit of a party life which isn't really probably what a teacher wants to impress upon you know that type of career then maybe you need to start holding the space to live like you're a teacher to live a life that would support that career that's just an example, but you know, really looking at that, okay, so yeah, okay, so two, two cards for Druid, please, for Sagittarius. Now, I do want to say about the Sagittarius is that um, please know that even though we have career here, this could be also applying to anything in your life, okay, it could be in a relationship or anything like that, um, but you know, I'm talking along the lines of career because it's come up. But um, I just feel like overall, ultimately, this is you looking at what direction you really want to go in, what ignites that passion within you, and um, and how it is that you can support yourself in that, okay? Um, wow, there's so many... Um, uh, oh, no, there's not that. Oh, yeah, there's a few ones here. Um, but, you know, we have the two of ones here. This is the next step after the ace. So this is really deciding what it is that you want to do and what direction you want to go in here. Okay. Um, we also have the ten of ones. This here, Sagittarius, is you dropping what you don't need. Okay, because um, any baggage, anything that's holding you back, these thoughts that are holding you back, you know, these sort of deceitful thoughts, I want to say, Um um and yeah looking at the road ahead and going what do I need to take with me what is going to serve me and what can I let go of because I always feel like along the path that we travel we collect all this baggage and we collect things that don't serve us when we go to embark upon a new journey we're so used to holding on to this baggage that we sometimes don't realize that we're actually carrying it because it's so um it just becomes so common to us and yeah so I feel like there's a bit of sieving through that you need to do in order to drop a lot of this baggage actually because at the end of the day what would happen is she would be able to empty out her luggage to the point where she doesn't need the buffalo to carry her luggage she could actually hop on the buffalo to carry her along the journey and it would be a lot easier and a lot simpler and a lot quicker. Okay, so just look at the things that aren't serving you um, and, let, you know, work through those things, do whatever you need to do with those things in order to let those go. Those go. Okay, so I feel like it's actually, you know, not just holding the space but clearing the space um, for you to proceed forward on this journey. Okay, 
Wow, that was really interesting. Thank you for sharing your energy with me, Sagittarius. And I will leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.